वेलकम टू गुरुवीरा टेक्सटाइल एंड फैशन टेक्नोलॉजी ट्यूटोरियल हाय फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द कॉटन फाइबर एंड इट्स प्रॉपर्टीज एंड इट्स मॉर्फोलॉजी एंड इट्स ओरिजिन एंड अदर डिटेल्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल टेक्सटाइल टेक्नोलॉजी ट्यूटोरियल्स एंड बेल द आइकॉन बेल आइकॉन and share it to your friends if you are interested anybody interested to share and like it okay today is the cotton fiber class see cotton fiber this is a natural fiber extracted from the cotton plant belongs to the family that is biological family gossypium under the category malo okay and this cotton is grown in the tropical and subtropical regions of the globe the continents america africa india australia these are the major continents major area of the globes contributing to the growth of the cotton american cotton that is pima cotton african african cotton that is that is the country egypt that is egyptian cotton indian cotton and australian cotton even these are the major countries continents growing cotton but other than this other countries that is middle east countries europe countries and uh, pakistan bangladesh even china these are all the countries growing cottons but the thing is all totally in compared to globe india is the major country contributing cotton production and the major content of the cotton fiber is cellulose 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 is a chemical substance is yes, contained in the cotton fiber this cellulose is a natural chemical element found in cotton fiber contributing about 90 to 92% of its content in the cotton fiber but the cellulose not only found in cotton plant but the cellulose is also available in forest trees and other plants in woods okay but in other woods and forest trees the cellulose availability is only 40 to 45% but in case of cotton fiber it is more than 90% because of this substance cellulose the cotton is having demand it gives the quality it gives comfort and it gives it gives comfortness and uh, other required properties of the clothing it is a natural god gifted fiber cotton plant the environment required the environment required to grow the cotton plant is it's required plenty of sunshine and moderate rainfall is required about 60 to 120 cm and soil need to be very heavy and the cotton plant grows in frost free period okay and now comes to the textile this is a plant this plant where the cotton is extracted from this plant this in this plant when it nearest to the harvesting this cotton plant is having number of flowers it produce number of flowers each flower is producing a pod each flower is producing a pod okay the petals of the flower the petals of the flower covering this pod when flower gets dried the ball of the cotton fibers that is compact form of the cotton fibers that is fibers that is wet conditioned fibers are packed together in the form of the ball this ball is called the pod okay and in this pod the number of fibers produced the origin it is the origin of this fibers are the seeds the cotton seed this dotted lines are the cotton seeds these seeds are covered with the fibers okay the pod containing both seed and fibers both are attached together the seed producing the fibers okay and 
when harvest time comes this all these pods that is when these pods almost uh, in the dried form almost in a dry 90% of the pods are dried the harvest taking places in the sunshine in the sunshine period these pods are plucked by the farmer and collected and kept for drying but whatever the plucked pods are there plucked plucked not pods plucked cotton along with the seed are dried this plucked cotton fiber along with the seed is called the raw fibers raw cotton fibers this raw cotton fibers is not only a mixture of seed and uh, fiber but also containing the foreign impurities foreign unwanted materials like uh, husk dried leaves dried flower uh, parts and so uh, dust unwanted dust and dirt other things unwanted stains and other, other things are there so totally the foreign materials is included in this raw cotton this raw cotton taken to the ginning process here i have not uh, written that process ginning process in this ginning process in this ginning process the cotton fibers are separated from the seed that is the the process of separating the fibers from the seed and cleaning it or free from it dust and dirt and foreign impurities and make the fibers pure one is called this process is called a ginning process this ginning process is processed in the roller gins in olden days it was hand hand roller gin was there slowly techno technic technologies updated improved nowadays automated ginning machines are there okay the efficiency of the ginning machines per day or per hour is improved a lot technology is improved okay the after when the ginning process completed the outcome of the gin fiber is having a pure cotton it is having a pure cotton that pure cotton is packed and sold in the bale form bale form it is a bale is an international international package form for the cotton and this bale is a is measuring uh, about uh, in uh, it is a cubic meters 0.48 cubic meter this is a volume the cubic volume 0.48 cubic centimeters and weight is about average 500 pounds in british system and 226.8 kg in mks systems this uh, in ginning uh, mill this uh, cotton raw cotton is purified into white pure cotton and uh, not white it's pure cotton it's free from other unwanted materials and seeds and these bales are sent to or sold to the spinning mill to process further production of yarn that is these fibers are spun into yarn and then yarns are woven into fabric okay now the in total world production uh, including all countries all continent all areas annually approximately about uh, 25 million tons of cotton produced annually per year annually 25 million tons is producing annually but nowadays because of the variation in the climatic conditions variation in the environmental uh, requirements what the environmental requirement is required for growth of the cotton that is uh, varying environmentally and even scarcity of the water or scarcity of the irrigations or uh, problems that is calamities so one or the other reasons nowadays compared to olden days the cotton growth is reducing the production of the cotton efficiency of the cotton growth worldwide is going down but though it's going down the cotton has not lost its demand this is the king of the cotton textile industry cotton is a king of the textile industries please subscribe to this channel click the icon bell to get the notification like it share it thank you very much for watching this video